Hey everyone, I'm Samantha and I'm going to discuss Activity 2 of my Level Learning Center, the Center for Medium Level Readers. This is an activity for first grade and it's based on Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. The activity is called Sentence Maker. When students arrive at the station, they'll see the directions clearly printed for them to review. They will be complete with illustrations to aid with comprehension. First, the group will take out seven index cards and place them face up in the middle of the table so everyone can read them. All of the index cards will have words from the text written on them. These words are mischief, supper, tumbled, terrible, gnashed, rumpus, and tamed. The group will read and discuss each word, ensuring everyone in the group understands each word. A dictionary may be used if necessary. Each student will choose two of the words. Some of the words will be shared amongst the students. And they'll make a sentence using the words they choose. Using the Making Sentences worksheet, they will write their sentence on the lines provided. Then they will choose two different words from the index cards and write another sentence using those two words on the lines provided here. They may choose to draw pictures on their worksheet of what their sentences depict, if time permits. Though some students may use the same words, each student is responsible for completing their own worksheet individually with their own unique sentences. This activity will activate students' prior knowledge about vocabulary and can improve their reading comprehension. It sparks students' curiosity about what they're reading, as well as their creativity as sentences can often be silly and funny while still being meaningful. After everyone in the group has completed their sentences, the group members share them with one another by going around and reading their sentences aloud. The last thing students in this group will do is choose a partner and participate in a partner reading of the book. Not only will the partner reading aid fluency and comprehension, but it will also help students feel more comfortable with their classmates. The instructor should ensure that there is an even number of students in the group and oversee partner selections if necessary to make sure everything goes smoothly. This reread of the story is done so students can compare what they, how they use the words in their sentences to the way Sendak uses them and where the wild things are. Also, rereading texts is one of the best ways to improve reading accuracy and fluency. This rubric will be used to assess students on this activity. Students will be assessed on whether they correctly use two different sets of words in their sentences, as well as grammar, punctuation, capitalization, and spelling. The teacher will give each individual student a score out of 15. This activity can be used to address standard LAFS.1.SL.2.6, produce complete sentences when appropriate to task and situation. Thanks for watching.